Here we have a very, I don't know how to, to call it even, a very sophisticated uh, and modern tool which is actually based on the good old Excel. This tool allows you to have an Excel real-time real data link between an Excel simple open file on your computer. I've done this here in that in that sheet and I'm going to show you what is possible just having that technical link to your computer's Excel program. Now here you have that small window with just two options accept commands and use standard symbol names. It, it doesn't look uh, um, much promising but believe me it is. This allows you to use a command commands which you can find all on the page of the add-ons of JFD Brokers where you can also delete, uh, uh, install, download and install them and there you will also find a manual for that particular add-on. After downloading that manual you are going to end up with that window here and here as you can see you just scroll a bit and after the instructions how to install that tool you will have all the needed commands to extract all kind of information turning your simple Excel sheet in the separate trading platform allowing you to place orders from Excel by creating objects that is maybe for for those of you who who want to do something more themselves who want to create uh, mm, expert advisor rules but cannot um, but cannot program in MetaTrader for language then you can just take the commands that are really simple written here you just copy paste them from the manual of JFD brokers you copy paste them in Excel like I did here and you receive all the needed information in that example my account which you can see it here it's a demo account which I have here logged in is having all its informations in that Excel file by just pasting the command that I need from the manual that I have from JFD Brokers it's that simple so I'm creating here a statistical tool for example with real-time data exchange everything this is changing any second for example now my, my trade just turned a bit profitable and my equity changed also in Excel after that I can use all that information to create rules in Excel and to create and to set an object in the CMD option of any computer that you have and then put on as many commands that I want to be executed directly in my MetaTrader 4 Plus terminal. You are going to find a detailed explanation about how to do that in that manual but for now I'm going to show you how to have single signals and after that if you want you can either automize them or you can trade them manually for example I'm going to monitor here the currency pair euro US dollar where with directly pasting the commands from the menu of the Excel real-time data add-on I'm receiving uh, bid and ask prices after that I'm calculating directly here the spread now as you see sometimes it blinks green that's a simple rule that you can create directly in Excel and that is going to show you when the market conditions are right when the market is calm and when the spread is going 
higher and you should avoid such moments. I've set the settings, the spread to, to be um, shown as green, as, as higher, uh, as uh, lower and good for trading. When the spread is 0, .0, 0 pips, 0, 0.0, or when the spread is 0 0.1, 1 pips or when the spread is 0.2 pips like in that moment because dear traders that's our average spread on euro US dollar with JFD brokers uh, less than 0.2 pips that means you have a spread of 0.1 pips in an average trading uh, session and it, at, at all the time and you as you just saw that the spread was uh, um, a minute ago zero pips you should have such moments with with your broker if it's a true STP and if it's connected to many liquidity providers and um, in in that case of the, of the JFG brokers uh, many tier one top tier one banks like Goldman Sachs Deutsche Bank and so on I, I don't want to to go through all the lists you know the big names in the branch and you can uh, of course check it on our website now what i've done here is by pasting the commands directly from the menu i've done uh, I, i've received information for the daily high daily low the daily range of the currency pair and i've simulated an ATR indicator that usually you can find only uh, in the platform and I have here data about it, it, it at any second uh, what is the ATR showing and what is the RSI indicator showing I've done the same for the pound US dollar because that's another currency pair that I like to monitor especially after the event of the Brexit referendum and here I've created a simple uh, rule about the market conditions now I'm saying for myself that when the typical daily average true range is let's say 50 pips and the pair has already done more than has moved more than 50 pips per day then it's mm, it's uh, not very likely to continue moving uh, and it's it's uh, going to to settle down that's just a, a pure uh, statistic based based decision and i think that uh, you should have it in mind when trading a certain currency pair especially those that are not so volatile if the currency pair has already moved his uh, its average uh, daily range then there is nothing more to to be expected uh, for that day and that rule simply is here telling me is it okay to trade that to trade that uh, currency pair or uh, is it a no-go like the case of um, Great Britain pound US dollar here we have uh, average true range on a daily basi basis of 92 pips and we already have for today 113 pips and here my simple rule that I just did for two minutes is telling me no-go now I'm going to save that file and I'm going to use it every day when I trade and I don't need to lose any time by adding an indicator to a chart by adding um, complex um, calculations and taking decisions separately I'm just going to look in that box in Excel and I'm going to know if a uh, currency pair is okay or not and if I list many more currency pairs here in Excel I'm going to have an overview of the whole market that I that I'm monitoring if it has moved today or not this is going to give me a better perspective uh, for the market 
and this is going to uh, help me take the decision if I should trade at all at that day or not because we all know that there are days when we should not trade at all.